Hello, um, I wanted to make this quick video about the Master Lock 140. Somebody on Reddit was having some issues with it, said it was struggling, and uh, it replied, but there's some stuff that's easier to put in a video, and particularly being able to hear what's going on and show tension and stuff like that. Uh, if you're here as a subscriber and expecting jazz guitar stuff, uh, if I do a lot of these videos, I'll make a separate channel. Um, so I apologize if this is uh, off topic, because it is. And uh, if anybody's not familiar with the music part of the channel, the long nails are not, because I just don't cut my nails, they're for guitar. And that's why they're only on one hand. So uh, regarding the tension, first of all, I like to tension this on the bottom of the keyway, because there's just so much room in here that without, uh, if it was at the top of the keyway, there's just so much, especially for that top pin, and I, this just isn't a lock that needs it at the top of the keyway, for me at least. Uh, this is a homemade tension wrench from Wiper Blade. Uh, this end I serrated the ends kind of sloppily, but it stays in there um, nicely that way. So in terms of the tension, if this is no tension right now, then I'm just going to go like this. So no tension, tension. Just a little bit, like if you're pressing down a laptop key. Uh, so what you're going to hear is on pin 4 there's going to be a click, pin 3 there's going to be a click. Pin 2, you were talking about oversetting pins, and pin 2 is a good example on this one because um, I can't hear anything on pin 2. I don't know if the video will pick up a click, but I can't feel it, or I can't hear it, but I can feel pin 2 uh, through the pick when it, when it uh, sets. And then pin 1 will open it. So let's go through that first, and we'll see if I get it on the first try. They're doing this, I, I usually can, but I was trying through the phone screen, and it's really kind of weird not being able to see my hands in real life. So let's give this a go. Going from the back of the keyway, of course. I mean, not of course, but from what I just said, that's kind of obvious. All right, here we go. Oops, let me do that again. There we go. So I don't know if you could hear pin 2, I certainly can't, and it's in a quiet room. Um, let me overset pin 2 on purpose so you can see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so you'll still hear the clicks on the first two, pin, one, pin 4 and pin 3. Oops. There's my two clicks on pin 4 and 3, now I'm going to overset 2. Now what watch what happens with pin one. It's still springy, and it's getting stuck up there too. See how it's not returning down? Let's see if I can push it up more. Yeah, it doesn't really want to go up any higher. Oh yeah, I can get it all the way up there. And now if I let go of the tension, it pops back down. So that's, that's a clear indication on this lock at least that uh, I've overset pin two pin uh, because it normally I know that one will open the lock for me. The other thing is that sometimes, let me do that again and overset it. Overset two. Good, this is what usually happens. Normally pin one will just remain springy if I overset pin two. And that's confusing if you don't know what's going on because then I'll go back and say, all right, well, what did I miss? And I feel pin four and it's like, well, that's locked up. Maybe I'll jam that up. Um, thinking it's maybe the spool, since there's one spool in here. And if I push that up too far, then I've overset that pin. And then I go to pin three, and it's like, oh, that's jammed. I'll push that up really hard, and then that's overset. So um, hopefully on your lock, you'll have uh, some good feedback on these. You know, on this, since the four and three uh, click, I know, uh, you know, when I started this, I, I was able to pick this one right away without needing to practice because it was so apparent. Um, and I really only had to deal with half of the pins, and I also lucked out that the order of the pins was just in, in 4, 3, 2, 1 in this one. So uh, I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything. But mainly I wanted to show that for the tension, and uh, if you if you go all the way tension with this, then, I mean, this one I've bent over uh, like that, so you can actually see the tool bend if I do that. Um, but it's really, imagine typing on like a modern laptop, you know, nothing that's too hard to press down, and uh, you'll, you'll feel it. So good luck, let me know if I can help with anything else, and have a good one.